Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. I'm Chuck Beeson. And it is April Music Appreciation Month, and there's nothing more that we appreciate than some music from our comment requests. Yeah. So today we're checking out In the Garage by Weezer, which I am very, I, all right, so I'll be clear here. Weezer's probably in my top 10 bands. Okay. I love Weezer. That being said, there are massive amounts of areas of Weezer that I have not checked out. Okay. I've checked out their first two albums, and then I checked out everything from, like, 2015 on. Okay. So there's, like, a giant 10-year gap of me not checking out stuff from them. Okay. And, like, this Island in the Sun song that's also in the request list yeah. that we will eventually get to, um, this is a top their top played song. On oh, Spotify, goodness. And I have not heard that. But I've heard, like, Beverly Hills and Say It Ain't So. Beverly buddy, Hills. Buddy. That's where I want to be? Yep. I know that song. Yep. So. I don't know a lot of Weezer. Of course, I don't know who I know, what I know. Yeah. Half the time. Yeah. Until it starts playing. Right. But this is off their first album, In the Garage. So, this is a request. We're jumping in. Let's do it. Need a 20. I've got Kitty Fry and Nightcrawler too. Waiting there for me. Yes, I do. I do. I've got posters on the wall. My favorite rock crew kiss. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris. Waiting there for me, yes I do, I do. In the garage, I feel safe. No one cares about my ways. In the garage where I belong, no one hears me sing. I play my stupid songs I write these stupid words And I love everyone Waiting there for me Yes, I do Halfway point. I knew you'd appreciate just the intro to this. Uh-huh. The Dungeon Master Guide. Uh-huh. Or the fact that, you know, in the garage, I just feel like I'm free to be me. Yeah. And that's the whole vibe of this song, mm-hmm. is when you're in the garage, nothing matters. Mm-hmm. It's just live your life and do what you do. Yep, nobody's judging you. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Exactly. And I absolutely love the feeling of just being in the garage working on things and messing around out yeah. there. Yeah. Messing around. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally got a TV just for the garage. Yep. It's I, just a little 46 inch TV that I slap out there, take some the stuff out there, hook it up. And I, I've played football games out there. I've had people over mm-hmm. with three, four TV screens running. Yeah. Just cause in the garage, you could say, do whatever you want. Yeah. And just be a lot less free. Uh, yeah, you ain't got to worry about people breaking shit or anything yeah. here as well. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice little uh, man cave, though. I think my garage currently would not quite fit the uh, hangout state, but the old garage I had with Intentogony, that this song would have been made for that. Oh, yeah. I had all my, I had a bunch of furniture out there and yep. like, TVs and. Dude. And honestly, Ugh. honestly, I probably should get some good garage furniture. Yeah, dude. Because should. I got the space for it. Yeah. But 
It's just one of those things. I got rid of that couch that was in there just because. Oh, did you? It was just, it became a collect all. Uh, it was never being used. I just kept putting stuff on it. Just you gotta forgetting start, about you it. You got to get a table for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? To counteract it. And now I got a table out there. There you go. That is collecting everything. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> a little collect all for you. Yep. Let's finish this son of a gun out. Yeah, let's do it. Solid song. Solid rock song. And I love how it just starts off with the nerd in all of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. It's just like, bam, here we go. Let's get this out the way. I'm a nerd. Moving on. I'm not going to lie. I That's what caught my attention with the song when I first heard it. Excuse me. Yeah. I was like, oh, Dungeon Master Guide. I heard yeah. it. I heard it. 12 Sided Die. I'm in. What, what else we got? Yep. Um, I think that used to be a thing too. Where a lot of people played D and D out in their garage. Oh yeah, like because there's still more space, and it, it's just more free. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times you have, you know, you might have friends that want to smoke a little smoky smoke, mm-hmm. and you're more apt to being okay with that out in a garage. Oh sure, sure, or a barn, or wherever you may be. Yeah, rather than in your house, in your basement, your kitchen table, wherever. Yeah, else. So it's one of those things, like, it just makes sense. Sure. Because you want to be free to do whatever. And, well, quite frankly, some people like to drink when they play. Got to find a way to get the ganja. Yep. The ganja or <laughs> or the drinking. When you said smoke a little smoky That's smoke. what I was talking That's about. I assumed. That's exactly what I was saying, yes. <laughs> um, the ganja. Yeah. So Which you're is- either smoking to get high or you're drinking to get drunk. Are you smoking to get nicotine? Well, yeah, but... You're not worried about that one? Less people care about that one. I feel like that's such a, like an 80s thing, though. Like, we're like the D&D, out in your garage, people smoking. Mm-hmm. Like, what you just laid out there. Yeah. Like, maybe 70s, maybe more yeah. 70s. I think more nowadays, it's more... It's like, I like to have a nice glass of bourbon when I play. Really? Yeah. I can't do... It tears up my ass reflex. Right. And it does mine, too. Yeah. I just deal with it. I do like whiskey, though. Mm-hmm. Tastes good. Yeah, so I like having a little glass of bourbon, maybe throw a couple beers back. No big deal while sure. I'm playing. Um, obviously, I don't get tore up, but I, I've i seen some people get tore up playing. And playing D&D? it's entertaining. Oof. Because you're Oof. sitting there playing. They get up for a moment. They sit back down, and they're just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not there. Uh-huh. <laughs> or somebody gets a little too uh, high. Yeah. And they're just like. So I don't okay. think I've ever played with anybody that smoked and played. Mm-hmm. That would be 
interesting to see. It, it's a rare occasion they take it too far. Yeah. Very yeah. rare. Like, I think I've only seen each think, once or maybe twice. I but. think probably you could take drinking too far easier than Easily. the other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, <laughs> very yeah. much easier. I've seen that with gaming, actually. Now that I think about it, where they drank too much. <laughs> uh-huh. It's, it's so much easier to drink too much yeah. while you're gaming because you're just, you're just sitting there hanging out. The you, light vibe. Yeah, and you know. it might be somebody else's as somebody else is doing things. You're just <laughs> throwing them back. So, I love the uh, posters on the wall. Yep, that's a that's a classic. Um, which I need to do that. That's some old school stuff. Like I don't. I have one thing hanging on my wall, and it was a gift from a friend. It says, "Beast and Sons Garage." Oh, that's right. And it's it's just a banner that lays out because I work on cars all the time in my garage. Yep. I have friends and family who come to me and I, I fix all their stuff. So it's just one of those things. He gave me a banner for it. Yeah. And he's always really good about, I'm getting something every time I work for do, do work for him. And it's never money <laughs> ever. Cause I don't want his money, but he get, I get banners. I get new tools. I get whatever. Yeah. It's a good time. But that's just one of those things. Like everybody's got that one little thing in the garage Mm -hmm. That they see it, and it's like, yes. Yeah. Um, And I feel like even though it definitely has some repetitive areas, I think that this song stays fresh with uh, the change-ups, whether it be vocal layering or just, like, hitting different tones and stuff. Yeah. It does a good job with that. Yeah, and I love how the second half and the first half are, they're not alike. No. In very many ways. Mm Mm-hmm. It's just a nice vibe. It is a nice vibe. Agreed. And the harmonica. The harmonica is nice. Yeah. I can't argue that. Cannot argue that. Where are you going rating wise for this, bud? I'm actually going to go with a flat seven playlist. Damn. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to go with a 6.6 here. Really like this. And it's already in a playlist for me. Like I said, I have heard this. Yeah. So, yeah. And it, like I said, it's just a vibe. It's reminiscent. It reminds me of different things that I enjoy in my life. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I just went on a nice little spiel. You did. You did. <laughs> About just things mini podcast within a, <laughs> within a, a reaction. Yeah, yeah um so anything else you want to add no that's it for me all right guys i'm joel norton this is charles beeson do us a favor drop down in the comments and who gets that brain cell and remember if you have a broken down car and you don't want to you don't have the money to fix it take it to chuck's house beeson and son garages <laughs> we'll take care of it for you until next time guys <laughs> peace out hold on now he even said no money <laughs>